Australia is such a diverse land. It's a massive country, especially in natural beauty. The judo community in Australia is awesome. We have a lot of people that are really passionate. This is my mother's country. Long, long time ago, I, I was running around here, little boy. Pajinka is right up the tip. That belonged to the other tribal group, the Gudang people. The various tribal group in the Cape all come and settle here. Toward the late 60s, this uh, European welfare officer was a judo master. He saw us how to exercise, how to fall, how to do all this stuff. So we got, oh, I thought I can do that. <laughs> because each community come from different tribal group, we always have that animosity there, you know, we always fighting. But since we joined this club, we, it's, it's like a brotherhood. We all brothers. And we became more one and loving and caring for one another's need. I've done judo for 20 years and I really love judo. I want to teach some skill for an Australian player or Australian kids who never done judo before. When I teach judo, it's important to teach the respect, uh, friendship and courage. It's not just technique. Australian people, they respect Japanese culture and judo history. So that's why I think Australian judo will develop a lot. I work in the wine industry and in the Barossa Valley, it's a big part of the community. I started judo at a young age. My little man, he's two and a half now, he sort of brought me back to judo. I get so much joy from seeing him having a great time on the mat. And I just I understand that if I can get him involved and get him the love for judo that I have, when I know he'd be confident all the way through his life. Um, there's no clubs around this area, so I've decided to take the opportunity to open the club um, judo's got that broad spectrum. It's not just judo or, or landing right on, on the mat, it's, it's the way of life. And we have youth clubs in different areas of Sydney with the idea of basically getting youth off the streets, getting them active, so therefore they're not getting into trouble. Out of the 34 classes, I'd probably take uh, probably about 28 a week. The most fulfilling part of what I do is seeing someone who has difficulty emotionally or physically and seeing judo help them overcome that and see them grow through that. Judo has made a real big impact in my life. I was a really shy kid. Um, I was very, very timid, but judo has really helped me come out of my shell. It's given me a lot of confidence and a lot of faith in myself just to, to be able to do other things in life. Very close to qualifying to the Olympics now. The judo community in Australia just gets so excited about it. 
the best part about judo is the grassroots and watching these little kids uh, training from when they're five years old all the way up until seniors, which has been really great. Judo is a discipline and it's there for life. Australian people, they really love judo and learn new skill. Judo is the way of life. The friends that you make through that circle in judo, it's just a good feeling. To see people develop their character, that's the greatest achievement. Australia will rank amongst one of the top countries. To be a part of that would be a dream come true.